Hey guys, it's Jada. So for the past two months, I've been using rideshare apps to get from place to place. And I have a question for all these companies. How do you train your drivers? And do you train your drivers? But one day I get into a car with someone and I have good, excellent service when it comes to driving, when it comes to being hospitable. And then the next day it's like, I get into a car with someone and I'm making sure that my seatbelt is on and the airbags are all checked. Less than a week ago, I ordered a ride and my car pulled up and there was my driver and two other passengers. Both of the passengers were in the back seat. So, you know, I had to go up in the front seat. As soon as I stepped into the car, I knew it was gonna be one hell of an experience. As I closed the door, I noticed that there were a lot of coffee cups and lids just stacked in like the cup holder and in that little section in the car doors. It was everywhere. But the thing was, they looked clean. So I was like really expecting him to tell me like he is starting up his own coffee shop or at least offer me a coffee. It was weird. So we started driving. I felt like I was in a video game. I felt like I was a character in either Crazy Taxi or GTA because th his driving was just not I was scared for my life, I will honestly say that. I mean, we were swerving in between cars and like, it wasn't even he was checking to make sure that he could like go between cars. He was just turning. I checked in the back just to make sure like I wasn't a crazy person, like this person was actually driving like this. And I turned to look back there and I see one of the passengers and he's like, clenched, his hands are clenched to the seat. Like he is scared beyond belief. And I was like, okay, cool, great. As long as I'm not the only one. And then the other guy was unconscious. And in my head, I was like, oh my God, we did one of these sharp turns. He hit his head. He's done, he's done. So as we were pulling off of the curb away from this guy's apartment, we almost hit a guy on a bike. And I mean like almost hit him, like we we were just so close. And he had dropped me off at my apartment and I remember my legs feeling like jelly. And I had like said a quick thank you. So as I was like going to my apartment, he had rolled down his windows and said to me, Oh, and I took the liberty of giving you five stars today. He didn't say that to anyone else in the car, but he said that to me, because I think he knew how scared I was in the car. And he was trying to guilt trip me into giving him five stars because he had given me five stars, but that's not how that works because I'm going to actually rate you on how you actually did. And uh, I didn't, I, 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 I ended up not rating him at all because I didn't want to be mean, so I just skipped it. Now there's somebody out there in his car, and I'm so, so, so sorry. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and also reply in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any wild, crazy stories with any of ride sharing apps. I bet you have some. Please keep that positivity going in the air because we need it, especially during this week. I know I need it, and I know a lot of people who are my friends need it. So until next time, keep thriving and surviving. Bye guys.